We know a thing or two about spreadsheets at this point. We can probably do something pretty useful. Uh, so let's say we wanted to actually create a spreadsheet to try to figure out what kind of camera we might, might want to buy. We could actually do that with just the information we have now. So I'm going to go ahead and give my spreadsheet a name, camera comparison, pow. And we have that. Now it's saved. It's on the. It's in the cloud. It's all magic. We can come back to it. Now I'm going to think of some different, you know, different things I might care about for the cameras that I might look at. So I'm going to type in manufacturer, you know, because I might be interested in a Sony camera. I might be interested in a Canon camera. There's a lot of different things that I might want there. Uh, I might also want to know how much a camera costs. So we'll go ahead and say well let's give it a name we'll say name first and then we'll do cost and one of the great things is our spreadsheet can actually be useful we can actually say URL and we can identify where that camera can actually be purchased and maybe we'll have like some notes here maybe we'll have something about size we can kinda we can be creative with this so now that I have a, a, a header here I'm gonna make it look like a header I'm gonna start entering some information in just a moment but first thing I'm going to do is select all of these so I'll just click one cell drag all the way across and there we have this nice header and I'm gonna bold my header and I'm gonna give it a background color we'll you know for this we'll say let's do this uh, this red looks pretty good we'll say dark red dark red 3 oh yeah that's real dark so we're gonna change our text color we're gonna make that white and now we have this nice header and uh, we can now start looking for different uh, different things to put in here. So I'm going to go ahead. We'll type Amazon.com because that's where people buy things. Let's be honest. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and search for let's say Sony camera. Let's find a camera that looks pretty good here. Oh, there's a lot of good stuff. The RX100 looks kind of nice. It's kind of dated. It's a little older at this point. Uh, and then we have the W800. It's maybe maybe I want something a little bit nicer than that. Uh, so, oh, here's an A6000. That's also a little bit older, but let's go ahead and click on that. So, here we go. We get the nice page for the A6000, and we can start we can start gathering some information here. So we know a few things. We can say Sony is the manufacturer. The pr camera is the A6000. We can say, all right, that's six hundred and forty-eight dollars. So we'll say six hundred and forty-eight, and note that it's going to automatically format this as a currency. And I could even say, let's go ahead and show a couple more decimal places. Now, where can I buy it? Well, I can just select my browser or my URL bar here, my address bar. I can copy that. So we can right click and hit copy. And we can paste that right in here. Bam. It's long, but it's going to, uh, we'll, we'll add some more values here. We don't really need to see the full URL. And we'll say, what are some good things about this camera? So we can see here, well, it's got an interchangeable lens because it's got this 16 to 50. Oh, there are a lot of options. So mm, something we might say is it's interchangeable lenses and flexible options. Now this is something we might actually want to format a little better because now that's going all the way out to size. And how big is this camera? You know, if we want to enter this value, well, let's take a look here. How big is it? I'm sure somewhere in here it's going to, oh, yeah, it's about about three by two by five inches approximately so we'll go ahead and say three inches by five inches by two inches so now we might want to move some things around we might want to change the way this is laid out one thing is we might want to use this we might want to put this URL it's nice and clickable you can see but we might want to move this out to the other side so we can click this column we'll just go ahead and click where it says D and now we can move this we'll get our hand here and we're going to just move this column all the way over here now you can see that moved the column but uh, it didn't really do exactly what we wanted because it replaced our size column that's not so good fortunately we have an undo there's a button right here and it's just gonna take back whatever I just did so I can do the same thing I can click that D and I can now right click that and I can say well let's let's cut this column and then I'm gonna click on F and I'm gonna right click F and I'm gonna say I'm going to paste this column. Well, that kind of did the same thing, so that's not so great either. So I can click D, and I can go ahead and drag that over to where to the other side of F. And there you can see that that actually did what I wanted. It moved the other columns over, and it, it pushed URL there. Now, if I go back a few steps, if I undo that, I can also right-click the U D. I can cut that. 
and I can right click F and I can or insert one to the right and I can just paste that here paste there you go now I have this column on the in D I can I can remove that we can just right click D and we can delete that whole column now I might want to also move notes over so I can just grab that and move that over on the other side of E and I might want to make my notes column a little bit bigger so we can right click that and we can resize our column and we can say let's go ahead and double its size we'll make it 200 and it's still not quite big enough but what we can do now is we can select this whole column and we can select wrap and now we have the ability to wrap that and URL is going to be big but maybe we can you know we can clip that if we want maybe we make that a little bit bigger we can say resize that column to 150 we hit OK or hit enter and then we can say we'll just go ahead and clip this column we don't need to see all of that so we have a, a bit of information here we have a, a couple of things filled in uh, let's think of another can camera like maybe we want a Canon Rebel maybe we want to look at that Canon Rebel Oh, see, I typed in. It's a good thing Amazon is smarter than I am. Uh, so here we go. Here's a nice refurbished Canon Rebel. Well, that that's actually a pretty good price. So here we go. This is three hundred and seventy-five dollars. Yeah, let's go ahead and copy this. So we'll select that URL. We'll copy that. We will come back in. We will paste this, and you can see it's automatically clipped because I already clipped that whole column. I formatted that whole column all at once, and I could say this is interchangeable lenses and lots of options too now you'll notice as I'm typing into my feet in my cell it's going to try to autocomplete to something else I have in that cell it's useful sometimes in this case I could probably could have just typed the exact same thing I can also copy that value so if I could I can select this cell and I can hit control C or I can right click and hit copy and then I could just right click here and hit paste and paste that right in it's a nice little option that I have as well. Now let's find out how big this one is. We can say, all right, this one is, where is its size? Oh, I don't see. I don't see a big, I don't see a size here. Hmm. Uh, uh, is it down in this details, details here? Uh, yeah, here we go. Th three inches by three inches. I, I think I probably need, oh, that's just the lens. So here we go. Box dimensions. Here is the dimensions. Five inches by four inches by three inches. Okay. So we'll say five inches by four inches by three inches and we know that it's 375 now if I type in 375 and I don't actually make it a currency I have a few options I can either hit this currency button here format as currency or I can select this and just paste that format right over top of it and we can get the model number from our description here it's T6 so we'll go ahead and say Canon T6 now if I wanted to look at another Canon camera, maybe I just want to say Canon camera at this point. Yeah, we have this nice little G7. That looks nice. We'll go ahead and take a look at this. Now, if I want to add another Canon to my list, I have a couple of options for this as well. I could right click and copy this, but there's also another nice little secret way to copy the same cell. And you'll notice there's this little tiny square, and when I hover over it, I get this little crosshairs instead of the, the hand. I can click that, and I can drag it down, and I can copy that value. And that's going to be really useful when we get into calculations. You'll see that we can do a couple of different things with this nice little square at the bottom. Uh, and we can say this is our G7X. And it's $689. So we can say 689. In fact, we can actually copy that value into our spreadsheet. If we just double click that, right click and hit copy, we can come back in here and then we can paste it. But it's a little weird because now, oh, that's, you know, that makes me uncomfortable because everything else in the spreadsheet is just a nice, simple Arial 10 point font in the same color. This is not even a font that it recognizes and it's 13 points. So you have a couple of options here. Again, you can always format paint the format over it that's nice and simple and easy or we'll go ahead and hit command Z or control Z to undo that again you can click that button up at the top left to undo as well and we could actually undo the paste and we could we can say paste special and we can just paste the value uh, so we, we get it let's go back and copy it again 
we'll copy and then here we will paste special paste the value so there we go and that's nice because it doesn't change my formatting at all uh, this camera we can gather some more information we'll say how big is it where's the size uh, I'm not seeing that here anywhere obvious but I'm sure it's pretty small so we could say well let's get the URL here we'll copy the URL and then we'll put that in here and we'll say smaller camera no changing lenses though frowny face and we'll say small so you can see how here how we can start entering a spreadsheet and formatting our data so that it's consistent and we can very easily compare if we want to see what the cheapest camera is it's now pretty easy if we want to see different notes that we've made or we even want to jump off to go click on and look at one of these cameras in more detail we can do that all from our spreadsheet so lots of nice little features here that we can build really quickly to format our spreadsheets effectively thanks for watching and we'll do a little bit more exploration of our spreadsheets in the next video